The Sydney to Hobart fleet was reduced to 98 boats after overall honours contender Maritimo 52 was one of two retirements on a stormy first night of racing. Rival Supermaxes Andu Kamaji and Law Connect remain neck and neck in the early hours of Wednesday as the fleet began to pass Eden on the New South Wales south coast before heading into Bass Strait. The two favourites for line honours were some 65 kilometres ahead of the nearest challengers. Race officials confirmed Maritimo had retired overnight with rigging damage, while 50-footer Sticky pulled out with electrical issues. The retirements came after line honours contender SHK Scallywag was among the three boats of the 103. Starters to pull out on the first evening after the start to stay in Sydney Harbour. We're shattered, actually, said Maritimo crew member Peter Jones. We were trying to work a million ways around it, but at best we were going to be at 50%. Jones reported a southwest early front had come through with three hours of heavy rain and high winds. There was as much lightning as we'd ever seen, Jones said. Law Connect was the first out of the harbour. The finish line of the 1,170km race is at Constitution Dock in the state capital of Hobart. The line on Earth's record of one day, nine hours, 15 minutes, 20 for seconds was set by Comanche in 2017. After Comanche also won last year's race, in 2022, Comanche finished at Constitution Dock in one day, 11 hours, 56 minutes, and 48 seconds, the second fastest time behind its 2017 race record.